What's up everybody, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon returned with his old pal Carol and there will of course be spoilers for the episode here in my breakdown, so you've been warned. Now let's get into the season 2 premiere. We picked up two weeks after Daryl missed his boat to end season 1 and he's working with Laurent training him as a part of him still doesn't want to be there not knowing his true place and missing those he left back in the states not to mention he's still an outsider in this new community outside of that little group he met on the road then we pick up with carol back in the states as she makes her way to the hunting spot from season one where daryl started his journey before getting shipped out to france this was a great return for her with good old carol coming right back out of melissa mcbride as you never ever mess with carol she took one of their cars and uh, left them uh, left them after roughing them up, but quickly saw a plane starting its landing to sequence right overhead. Distracted by the golden opportunity to go find Daryl, she sideswipes a walker and crashes her car after a rather dramatic overcorrection that captured Carol perfectly as the badass that's adapted and survived, but she still makes those real bl uh, airheaded decisions from time to time. Anyway, we meet Ash through this as she makes her way to his fence and puts on the water show for the newcomer who happens to have lost a child just like Carol. And honestly, I kind of just expect newcomers to be guilt-ridden parents or, or like some family of sorts in this show. Now, it's not that it's bad, it's just it's a bit predictable at this point in this universe specifically. But Ash allows Carol to stay the night after hearing about her car, and he takes her to his barn where we get our Sophia memories, and this was a great scene from both Melissa McBride and Greg Nicotero too, who directed this first episode here with his main show originals. Then, the following morning, Carol uh, notices Ash being real odd about uh, being in his greenhouse when his alarm goes off, so she goes snooping when he goes up for his daily flight. And he actually goes up there to help look for car parts to replace her, so she gets him uh, gone and then snoops. But to get in, she had to leave the power off after it goes out temporarily, which uh, lets the walkers in the front gate, and it also drives a wedge in their newly formed relationship. Carol, being the survivor she is, lies to Ash once again, as the first was telling him she needed the car fixed, and really, she wanted a flight, and then it was uh, telling him she needs to get to Ed and Sophia in France, which... To be fair, was less of a lie than the first because she only lies about the who, not the what, or the why. She just needs to get to Daryl. It's very compelling and it ends up working, but it was a devious move by Carol. It was also a move that almost screwed her over as Ash kicks her out after that eventful day, but before she can even get off his property uh, that morning, he's back to pick her up because he gets it. He has some questions, but he gets it, and also, he's been making some ethanol just a bit. This is the Daryl Dixon show, though, and back, and he's back helping those held up in Mont Saint Michel, and he's doing some jobs. Yeah, we'll call them jobs, helping saving some of their people from Marion Jeanette and her people, who he has a standoff with later on. And to get there, they try to blow the convoy, but the mines don't go off. So Daryl, he's left taking them out his way with his gun. The lone survivor of the encounter on the opposing side was Jeanette, who escaped after the mines went off a couple minutes too late. Then we finish it off as a, a lightning hits Ash's power box and that's all she wrote for his homestead here in the States. Not even a full 48 hours after a good old Carol arrived as the walkers flood in once again with the gates down forcing the duo into the skies as Carol's claustrophobia seems to kick in a little bit here before she settled, settles down up in the air. I thought that was a solid premiere for season 2. Melissa McBride was amazing in her return to the universe. Well official since she was at the end of the, uh, last season but man i had missed carol i do hope we get a better balance of the two though maybe even like if it can mirror carol and daryl getting closer together i think that would be real cool in the show and so that'll do it for my breakdown of the first episode from daryl dixon the book of carol we got a solid layer foundation this week to hopefully set up another good season of these walking dead spinoff shows that have been blowing me away let me know what you thought about the premiere though down in the comments below and make sure you have a great day